One of the problems we always have in fiber optics is determining if a fiber is live, if there's light being transmitted down the fiber. The problem, of course, is the light we use is infrared, and it's invisible to our eyes. However, there may be a solution to determining simply if light is going down the fiber. You can always use a power meter, of course, but you may not always have one. However, most people have a uh, cell phone with a digital camera built in or a regular digital camera. So let's look at what we can do with that. This is a remote control for a computer, an Apple PC. It also uses infrared light, just like we use in fiber optics. If you normally look at the uh, end of it, where the light is emitted, you won't see anything. But if you look at it with a camera, you can see the light. You can see the actual signal that's being sent to the computer that's used to switch the computer on and off and change selections. We can use the sensitivity of the sensor in the digital camera to help us determine if there's light in an optical fiber. Now let's look at the end of an optical fiber in a connector. The other end of this cable which is connected to a test source. Look closely as I turn the source on and you can see light coming out of the end of the fiber. Off, on, off, on. The sensor in the camera is sensitive to the infrared light so it can see the light from the end of the fiber that you cannot see with your eye. Now we're looking at the same connector but through the camera of my cell phone. We're looking at on the display of my cell phone and you can see here that the light coming out of the end of the connector is extremely bright. We've actually tried to determine the sensitivity and at 850 nanometers you can easily see one microwatt of power and at 1300 nanometers you can still see 10 microwatts of power. This is very much lower than most systems operate and extremely low compared to what might be hazardous to your eye. So if you're wondering if an optical fiber has power in it or if you're wondering at if it might be hazardous to your eye when, for example, you would not want to look at it in a microscope, here's an easy way to find it. Just look at it with a camera in your cell phone or the regular digital camera and you can see the infrared light that your eye cannot see.